you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee in a match. Just so wise. Bruce Lee enters the octagon with his mind set on one thing tonight, that UFC champion. You ready to fight? Ready. Go right back at the O2 Arena here in London, England, and man, are you loyalty around these parts? Oh, I mean, you can barely on. make your way to uh, John, tonight, John, Jim. oh, stop, John, oh, stop, John, <laughs> please stop. I'm no loyalty. Okay, baby in England, they might love you, boy, DC. Fighter lands a kick now. Keep the pressure on, everything's landing. Early connection with the left from the champ. Able to connect with a beautiful jab. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, nice combination of kicks there by Sandhagen. Nice loop and punch. Big inside kick. So more output, at least in the early going. Just missed with the leg kick. Well, he's the taller fighter and able to land a knee to the body with relative ease there. Lands a double leg takedown. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful though, he's got a lot of submissions off his back. Lee's back in full guard now. Making all these shots count. Oh, right into Mount. Oh, outstanding combination of ground and pound punches here by Sandhagen. Oh, good movement to avoid that strike from the top. Hard scramble, hard scramble. Mm, nice. Under three minutes to go in round one. Might be a submission attempt here, Jim. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Nice kick there by Sam. Oh, nice right hand by the champ, yeah. Beautiful combination there. If you are teaching an up-and-coming fighter about throwing volume strikes effectively, you can do worse than watching the film on this I mean, guy it's tonight. a master class, John. It's a master class in mixing up the target, mixing up the strikes, and ending your combination with the kick. Oh, nice job to land the front kick there by Lee. Oh, and he lands yet another flush knee. That's gonna leave a mark. And again, when you're using this length as effectively as he is here tonight, we might get a finish here in the not-too-distant future. Another big thing, though. Lee gets up, he is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground, but he worked hard there to get back to the feet. Get those combinations going. Move those Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Nice kick. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Beautiful placement on that flying knee. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. There. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Great job moving into his opponent and getting to that single collar time. Oh, nice head kick. I can't believe he's still standing after taking another massive head kick. Looking to land the right just out of range. 
Under a minute now to go in this one. Oh, nice job landing the knee there. He's got a lot of size for this division and put it to good use there. He passed the half guard. Now he's going full mount. And look at him attacking the arm triangle on the other side. He's going to lock him down, try to pass all the way across his body. Once he gets across, he will start to drop his chest to the mat and chase the finish. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. All right, so he just decides to get up here and let the opponent up. 20 seconds left. Well, he's always working off of that jab. Nice jab there by Lee. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. You ready? You ready? Round two is on the left. All right, so the next round is underway. Will it be more of the same? And by that, I mean all of those strikes to the body. You've got to think at some point the opposition is going to lower that guard or get finished. And that's exactly what he is hoping for. All those great body shots, all that damage he's putting on his opponent will force an opening up top where he will look to finish. Well, new round, same result as he continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous round. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. Can't take too many more of those. What a nasty kick. That was thrown with ill intent. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Single-collar tie now. Oh, now the hook in the clinch by Lee. Well, this point, Tom Fox is really fighting out of his style tonight, but realizing a lot of success with his takedowns, I guess he was sick of you calling him just a <laughs> one-trick pony. I called him a one-trick pony, and I think he might have tried to take down early and worked, and he goes, you know what? I'm going to keep going to the well. He can't stop him. Why should I change it? The level changes have looked great. The finishes have looked great. His intensity on his takedowns has looked great. He's doing everything right. I cannot critique this man anymore. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. You know, sometimes when you play basketball, you're in the zone. Mm -hmm. This dude's in the zone. This guy's throwing his basketball in the midst of the ocean. He can't miss with anything that he throws. Every kick lands. Every punch lands. He is just outclassing this guy on the feet. You have got to find a way to change the way that this fight is playing out, or your night's going to end very early. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following the game plan, and it's working. Yep, and he's got him secured in the half guard now. Oh, great reversal, the top position by Lee. Right inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out, or guys start to attack triangles. This pace is just absurd, and he has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater, punches in bunches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did, was super impressive. So to even list his performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. Under two minutes to go here in our second round.
just turning his hip over into the leg kick. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you have the Anderson Silva situation. Oh, beautifully timed and placed hook by him there, DC. Beautiful placement on the hook. Way to turn his body into it, make sure he kept his eyes on his opponent. Hurts him and gets back to safety. Beautiful jab there by the champ. Oh, nice jab. Oh, the roundhouse kick lands. Oh, big shot lands. Nice, good strikes. Keep going. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. Another big shot to the head. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Man, his body not looking too good right now. It's not quite Dominic Reyes against Jan Blachowicz, but these body strikes are really starting to add up. They're starting to pay dividends. You know, he spoke to us about this earlier in the week, how he was going to eat this guy up from bottom to top. He was going to go in reverse. That is exactly what he has done. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. You got to do better than that defensively. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Nice straight punch. Final seconds. Oh. Two rounds in the books. Oh. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, Will. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. You ready to fight? Ready. Yeah. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a far fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times where they came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Beautiful jab lands. Nice job blocking that punch. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Ooh, spinning heel kick connects. Impressive. Well, he might be working towards an attritive knockout here tonight as he continues to pepper that body. Look at those numbers, bottom of your screen. That has been the most significant stat in this fight. The body strikes landed for this young man, working here towards the best performance of his UFC career. Oh, it lands a level takedown here, just doing a nice job, not telegraphing his shot, clean entries. The Olympian's gotta like what he sees. I mean, over and over, he gets to the legs before his opponent reacts. By beating him on the entry, now it's up to the opponent to keep up. But this guy's playing chess. His opponent's playing checkers. He's playing chess. He can't keep up once he gets to his legs. He's got to beat him defensively before he gets his hands locked around his legs or his body. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by Sandy. Lee's got a bruise appearing on that left side now. Got to think that bodily investment is going to pay dividends later in the fight. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming, and when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, to get out of the way and avoid those shots. Now he's got the single collar in the clinch. Look at how he drives his knee right into his opponent's midsection. Man, that beautiful jab. 
Well, what do you think? Another takedown attempt here. It seems like every time he's gone to the well, it's been there tonight. When you're that successful with any one thing, why would you change it? He's going to shoot for another takedown, and I would almost be willing to bet he's going to secure it. I'll take your action. Okay. Oh, and the Superman punch is good. Let's go, takedown. Pretty good head kick there. Nice shot to the body. With two minutes and change to go in round three. Well, he is at his kickboxing best tonight. Another nice, good series of kicks by him there. Oh, flying knee. Oh, right hook attempt, no good. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Yeah, he's in half guard here. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the match? Side control now. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Sam Hagen's back in side control. That was a slick transition. Back to the stand-up now. Both fighters upright. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Swing and a miss by Sandy. Oh, nasty cut right on the bridge of the nose. He is bleeding. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. He does a great job getting out of that clutch position. Good stick. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter evades. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Final seconds of round three. All right, so there's the takedown game on display. All set up, though, by the hands. It has to be set up. You cannot just take blind takedown attempts. Can't shoot. You okay. gotta set your opponent up. You did that beautiful. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cut man will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, the truck has produced some replays from that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the strike that opened up that cut on the bridge of his nose. It's nasty, and it's in a bad spot because the reality is. When you can't breathe through your nose, you start to open your mouth. But the blood is dripping down into your mouth. How is he going to breathe in order to have a chance to win this fight? All right, here's round four. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five. And a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you got to change it up. You have to mix things up because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15-minute fight. So you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go in that extra 10 minutes. All right, well, that blow is fauceting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. Perfect execution as he gets the single leg takedown. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment. John, it may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. And very effective with the ground and pound. Lee gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. 
Both guys appeared to land there. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Just over three minutes to go. Leg kick. Yet another strike targeting that already bruised area on the side of his body. Just mixing everything up there. Finding his target, using his punches, his kicks, and everything else to try to do damage to his opponent's body. I love this game plan. Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight for him. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. Single leg takedown. Passes the half. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Oh, and he's back up. Just over two minutes now to go. Oh, beautiful knee to the head there. He's the taller fighter. We told you right off the top certainly used his length well in that situation. Oh, how about the switch kick there by Sandhagen? Leg kicks all day, his mobility is compromised. Might get it back a little bit as the fight continues, but that's an obvious limp right now. Well, it's gonna take ice on the calf, ice on the thigh, when he gets to the corner to try and bring it back. But once you get dead leg, there's not much you can do. High kick landed for him there. Oh, yeah, right hand. Oh, back and forth we go. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with... Oh! Yeah, he's hurt really bad. Oh, oh big left hook there. Superman punch lands. Under a minute to go. Lee's tough as it gets, but how about the size of that bruise starting to form on his right side? All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Nice punch by Lee. He's got that single collar tie. Dan Hagen gets tagged by that straight punch. Nice land for the offense there. Well, there it is again. He just continues to keep landing those takedowns, scoring a lot of points. His opponent has showed a pretty good get up, but not sprawling, not stopping the shot. He's got to sprawl earlier. He's got to defend a little bit earlier if he's going to stop this guy. This guy is so committed to his wrestling that he will continue to attack it over and over again. For the end of round four. All right, buddy. Sit down. Take a breath. Let's slow that up. All right, here we go. Everything you're doing is working. Those punch kick combinations. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC. And uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding. And look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel. He's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it take an effect. You ready to fight? Ready. So here it is, folks, fifth and final round. All right, DC, here we go with our next round. It wasn't just the accuracy, it was the aggressiveness, the volume. It was unbelievable to watch him be so active. The cardio, the push, the pace, and the pressure that he fought with it's going to be very interesting to see if he can maintain this over 15 minutes. Oh, damaging knee to the head. Oh, high kick lands flush. Way to hide that leg kick. Back and forth we go. Lee gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. 
got to the clinch, controls the posture, and lands some big knees from his hook. Going to the body now with that hook shot. Nicely done by Sanhagen. Man, he is hurting for certain. I don't care how many planks, crunches you do, the body is not meant to absorb that type of damage. No, you can prepare yourself so thoroughly and still not be ready for this, because this has been hard to watch. This guy has taken every shot that his opponent's thrown to his body. I'm amazed that he's even still standing right now. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. All right, watch out for the setup here. DC, I know you don't pay your bets, but I'll bet you 100 bucks he goes for another takedown here. <laughs> if I don't pay, then why are you betting me? I'll yell at the octagon and go, man, don't shoot so that I can get paid. But if I'm betting, I'm trying to take the over. I believe that he's going to get another takedown, so I will try to force you into saying that he doesn't do it again or something. Right, we'll I don't see. know. We'll see. I'm not the gambling guy. You're the gambling guy. You can twist me up with your words. If you're going to go out, go out on your shield. If you're going out, go out on your shield. Don't just walk backwards. Go. Oh, nice double leg, yes. Well, he's on his back, but he's moving his head on the ground pretty well defensively. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Sandhagen. Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off of his back. All right, half guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhooks. Now he's looking arm triangle on the opposite side. When he goes to finish, look, he's got it locked. When he goes to finish, good job by the champ there. Slide back up. Oh, he's got the choke. Oh, it's getting deep. He gets out. That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Under two minutes now to go in the fight. Oh, you gotta love the ground and pound strikes here. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Oh, what a moment there as they make their way back to the feet. Crowd may be drunk, but they're absolutely loving it. Yeah, the crowd loves the stand-up fight. So all that grappling wasn't what they wanted to see. They're back up on their feet now, and they're popping for it. They're excited. Let's go. More, more, more. That's oh, and he tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Lee. His cardio is great right now. He still seems fresh. He can see that he can fight two more rounds if he needs to. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. Sandhagen's cut on his nose is just pouring blood at this point. You wonder if that's impacting his breathing by now. One minute to go in the fight. Great block there. Another takedown land. Oh, he passes the half guard now. And he's not posturing the land punches, so look for a submission attempt. Sanhagen gets stung by that leg kick. Oh, another beautiful body shot there. You see the damage starting to accumulate. Maybe some defense would be wise at this he, point in the fight. I think so, John. You can't just get beat up to the body. It doesn't show itself right away. It takes time whenever you're beating somebody up from the body and working your way up to the head. But right now, we are starting to see the damage, and you see it not only in the body, but in the reactions of the opponent. Sanhagen's real all-out action right through the final minute. Nobody in this arena is sitting down. What a fight. All right, so a competitive title fight tonight, Daniel, as many expected. 25 minutes, not enough to determine a winner. Slight lean to the champion, or what? I do believe he's still champion. But that's why he's the champion. Because when the challenges are the biggest, he usually will step up. Official decision now in, the buff has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision.
All three judges score this contest 50-45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. Mixed martial arts royalty, folks. Bruce Lee, light.